of good night, good night, good night to you. You know, I'm smiling because I'm thinking I decided to, to put a name to this program like every other program I do. Eh? And, and I was cracking up today when I was saying, when I was choosing what words to put as my topic for this evening. And believe you me, I think I chose the right words to put to this this the topic for this evening. Um, our <laughs> the operator will put it up on the screen so you'll see what I'm talking about. But good night to all of you. You know, I miss you when you're not when I'm not here with you. I miss you. But you know, um, because of other commitments, I am going back and forth and back and forth. And so every other week I'm here with you. But of course, the work has got to go on. And that is why I have Comrade Jai Karan, who is always there to do. Um, the week when I am not in. So good night to you, Kamra Jaikaran. Uh, good night to you, Andrea. How are you doing? And Pamela and everyone else, Latoya and Sharon and Jason. Good night to you. And good night to my friend Loretta. And we have Brandy. We have Paul Court in the house tonight. Good night to you, Yvonne Rodriguez. Good night to you. I know we have Andrea Jackman. Uh, Dorella Williams is going to pop up at some time. But Jason, you know what? By the time we got in here, at least we're here 15 minutes before start time. Eh? By the time we got in here, we started laughing because the power went off. And so my, my, my topic tonight is apt. Is it Guyana Power and Light Ink or Guyana Powerless and Light Out Ink? And, you know, I would have had my, my colleague, uh, the Honorable David Patterson, waiting all the time, waiting all the time there. But you know what? I want uh, the folks to know that David has all the answers. And if you think by putting the lights off, you're going to avoid this program from being aired. Well, you better think again. You're going to slow us up a little. We're going to have a late start. But let me tell GPL, uh, the executive there, the board of directors, as a matter of fact. And let me say to Indar Singh and Juan Ejil, you can't, you can't put this program on hold. Advancing the cause is here to stay. And it will always be here for the people of Guyana. Yes, powerless GPL. That's what they are. All they're doing, you know, but I don't want to talk too much about that because David is going to tell us about that. But let me run some things quickly by you. You know, I'm hearing Barra Jagdio. Barra Jagdio likes to mess in everybody else's business. But his business, he keeps that undercover and he thinks people doesn't know. Barra Jagdio is talking about the People's National Congress Reforms Congress. And when and not when and all kinds of foolishness. And we are supposed to have our Congress and who doesn't want to have the Congress. But let me remind Barra Jagdio that the PPP had their last Congress in 2016. So you should fix the matters in your house before you want to fix matters in other people's homes. Don't come here to lecture us. Fix your business by you first. Damn you, Barra Jagdio. Don't come here to tell us what we must do. What we want you to do is to have all the answers for that COI that is going to be commissioned for all of those lives that were lost between 2000 to 2006 and beyond when you were president. That's what we want to hear. We want to have it very quickly. And we don't want you to come and bring some wishy-washy um, commissioners. We want to have people with credibility. That's what we want to have there. Don't decide you will bring who you want to bring. You see how the, the COI for the Madia story went down? We want that. So we can bring proper, proper things. But in the meantime, while you're bringing the proper things, go look after your conference for the PPPC. Go look after your Congress there. And then we have the, the whole issue of the, our athletes, who, who those athletes really, really shined for us. And we want to congratulate them on behalf of the People's National Congress Reform, on behalf of the leader of the opposition, on behalf of the opposition MPs. We want to extend our heartiest congratulations to those athletes. And we know that there is not much that is done by the government for them. And you know what I want to say to you viewers? Teachers would have put in a whole lot there. Our teachers, the same teachers, that they don't want to pay. 
at the last national track and field athletics championship that was held at Lenora Stadium, many of these athletes were there performing from their different teams, North Georgetown, uh, Region 3, District 3. They were there performing. So teachers did a lot, a lot of work with these athletes. And then we have our lone, our goal, our first female gold medalist and the fastest in the world in the, four, in the 400. Come on, we got to do something about it. The fastest on the 18, 400 meters. Female athlete in the world, Tiana Springer. I'm waiting to hear what we are going to give to these athletes. I'm waiting to see what we are going to bestow upon, what is going to bestow, um, bestowed upon them. Every single one of those athletes, I'm hoping that the government is going to have them as beneficiaries for the, um, the government stipend that is given to others. They should be part of that too. As a matter of fact, more should be done for them because they're at school. Quite a few of them are, are still at school. So you should do stuff for them. Don't just go to the airport and beat drums. Drums can't take them anywhere. Maybe you want to catch somebody. It's called it come for some nonsense like that you want them catch. Don't stop beating drums. We should have had some athletes decked out in, in their, in their track suits and so on to welcome those athletes. What were any wrong with Charles Rams? Now all he could do is open his mouth and talk a lot of foolishness. But who was his subordinate and who would have been his subordinate? You got Barrett Jack, you're there. You can't talk up to him. I'm waiting to see what you're going to do for those athletes. And then, boy, is the aircraft for me. <laughs> is the aircraft for me. But while we are going to, while I'm going to do a few highlights, I'm going to um bring in very quickly uh, bring in our um our guest on Rebel David Patterson. We're going to bring David in too. So while we do, while I do the highlights very quickly, um, I know David is there with us backstage. David, welcome to Advancing the Cause. This is no strange place for you. You've been here before, and it's always a pleasure to have you. And you know, once we're having you here, it means we're talking a whole lot of power, plenty, plenty power once we have David here with us. <laughs> right, David. yes, good night. Power. I'm glad that you got back power. Um, yes. It's very strange. I, I was on Sherrod last night, and as and we had blackout as well, you know. So that's hope you we know, can get through. The Today thing is, help. David, as long as we advertise this program and they know who are the persons on the program, they feel that they can block us out. But we got we got standby generator. The only thing is that we have to go and, and get it started, get the right persons to start it, because I wouldn't want to do that. Yes, Mr. Alicor, good night to you. And it's always a pleasure to have you on program too. So, David, I was talking here about our Carifta, um, our Carifta athletes. Oh, and, they did and very they well, didn't done. they? You know, right? And we came third in terms of, of medal collections, third. And I'm waiting to see what Charles Ramson will do for these athletes. I'm waiting to see what they are going to do. Well, you know I me mean? first, let me uh, uh, join you in congratulating all the athletes. You know I mean? Some of them medals, some didn't. But overall, I thought they were outstanding. Um, yes. But obviously, um, Ramson and them, they're only into shows. They're bringing um, Benji, um, they're bringing a, 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 some guy next week. Mm -hmm. um, to distract us um, coming on uh, here. And so what needs to be done? All of these students there, because we, we are competing with powerhouses like Jamaica and Trinidad who have structured mm -hmm. programs who all these children, they would be mm -hmm. in, in, in at university um, and they train in the University of the West Indies. They have dietary supplements. You know, I mean, I, come on. Some of these, um, I, I read some of, some of these um at least parents have to provide them their own supplements and yep. their own mm -hmm. pocket just for mm -hmm. them and, they, and they're going to represent this country. So we have mm -hmm. to give them a holistic uh, approach, I do think, you know, I mean, look at their health, look at their education, look at their training, their transportation. You know, I mean, some the, the, the only proper thing is in Lenora, when you can get there, they have to cross a bridge. They have to come from all around the um, all around mm -hmm. various areas to get there. You know, I mean, these are the things you have mm -hmm. to look at. Provide them with transportation, a bus to carry them for medical um, the medical uh, care. You know, I mean, physiotherapy and these things like that. 
Because yep. you can't have people going representing our country, bringing glory to our country, and then you come back and treat them as a second class, third class citizens, and all you do is just go to the airport and take some pictures, post it on your and, Facebook, and beat some tassel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, we got to do better. And not only athletics, I mean, we were the powerhouses in cricket. We're no longer the, at the junior level. I mean, I'm talking about the junior level, cricket, football, and all these things. And it'd be interesting to see, I mean, that at under 18, we have people have beaten Jamaicans. They, in another three or four years, Jamaicans will be ahead of us because they, they have scouts, um, Puma, and they have their, 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 their gears, their running shoes, all those things yep. like that. Mm -hmm. That is run, that is funded by the government again, uh, the government of Jamaica in association with private persons. So um, for us to keep our at least in, to in pace with the rest of the Caribbean, we have to give more support, you know what I mean? Um, not hold concerts and and, and, and do well, Facebook lives. Well, and, and well David, let me, David, let me say to you and let me say to our, our viewing audience there that last year at the National Track and Field Athletics Championship that is usually hosted by the GTU and the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Sports, as a matter of fact, the minister with responsibility for youth sports and culture was MIA. Not one day you did not see him there. Not one day. The minister of education, MIA as well. Not one day. And, you know, these are the people who want to jump up and take all the glory when our athletes perform. You did not see them one day at, at that track and field championship. At the swimming, you didn't see them. At the cycling championship, they weren't there. And, you know, when we ask that, you know, at least we should have something of substance coming from the Ministry of, of Youth, Sports and Culture, maybe a scholarship, maybe some running gear, maybe a bag with, with, with you know, some something there. We got none of that. And you know what the representative said to us? Oh, the mere fact that we are being um, allowed to use the stadium and the national park. Yes, that yes. is coming from that is coming from the Ministry of Youth, yep. Sports, and Culture. Yep. As if the children, the athletes there could eat the national park and they could eat the stadium at Lenora. And, and this just goes to show the kind of disdain that some of these people have for ordinary people. And, well, and you no, know, I don't... correct you, you. You are so right. They, they they show it in every way. I mean, of course, we we, we could talk about the teachers, or public servants, and those things like that. You know, what I mean, they 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 have no sort of respect for them. Um, and I'm not surprised about that. You know, what I mean, I'm not surprised with that. You know, what I mean, this this is the ministers uh, of youth and sports. All they do is just sit down and and and, and behave vulgar. Um, don't do anything. You know, what I mean, I don't know. Um, we 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 we're in a real bad way. You know, what I mean, but. We still have to be hopeful. We still have to tell people that how they have to hold strain, and, and shortly um, we'll address these issues frontally. Yes. As, as it were. I mean, when there's a change of government, I mean, obviously, I mean, you, you got to hope that our athletes can keep training and make it until then. You know, I mean, otherwise, um, we can't lose hope. We can't lose hope of that changes and better is to come very shortly. But, you know, David, as we go on, I, I want us to look at, at the aircraft. The aircraft was it for me. The aircraft was it for me. I, oh, jeez. The India, we are told, uh, bought three or five or whatever aircrafts for $8 million. And how much did they sell it to us for? 30, 25 million? Over 28. No, no. Um, Coretta, I myself went on YouTube early on today no yesterday. david before you go there that thing looked like the jumbie board with a run by the back back road yeah well well it probably yes you know what i mean i don't know probably air fang and make it his national carrier you know what i mean it suits him yeah anyway but 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 i'm telling you around um, your your viewers i went on to um youtube and i googled this aircraft this in the street in the sea and there's a youtube link you just go on it and you google the, the aircraft name and these aircrafts are selling points for $7.2 million each. That's what they're saying. That's what the Indian, that, that, that they were at, a, at a, um, and these are the upgraded ones to these with the fully, you know I mean? The fully made out. So the ones that we're getting are no more than four or $5 million each. $7 million is with the full works. I don't know. We don't have the full works um, yet with the infrareds and those things. Yet we're paying $14 million for these aircraft 
to buy two. The Indian government bought, bought from the same company. Of course, it, it, it's an Indian company. A quarter the price. Um, and, and exactly why are we, what are we going to be doing with this? I mean, this government has a, I want to remind you people, they have a penance going and buy all sorts of strange equipment strange planes and then it never um, work out you can remember we, we had some planes when i was a uh, minister we had some planes called y12 from china mm -hmm. they're no longer wrong we have some planes from another um uh, russia or something like that they're no longer wrong uh, they just simply go wrong and uh, and of course the middlemen that's where they are this is where all this is happening some middleman comes and say i can hook you up um and sell you drugs, sell sell you a plane that you um that you know what I mean it's a double the price. You gotta remember, I, I remember Coretta in in two thousand and twenty twenty, we bought Sputnik from a from a, a Middle East man. I remember in, uh, Sheikh Sheikh or something like that. Uh -huh. Double the price or triple uh -huh. the price for everybody else around the world. Sputnik um um COVID vaccine. So that's the modus operandi, you mean, what they do. I mean, we, we, we can't keep forgetting that, you know what I mean? We come on to some generating sets that they bought. Um, but but that's what they keep doing. They, they Ganesh, my Paul highlighted it. They bought a barge to 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 to, to run between Perica and Supernam. Somebody brought in the barge, some backdoor deal, you know what I mean? And Babsia, yeah, they bought the barge. They didn't advertise for it, and that barge, you know, of, of, of course, they said the barge is to, um, to, to assist in, in, in the crossing between Supernam and Perico. But that's, they, that's what they do. That do you mean so many things in this, in this government. They just, announced, they just announced that a company out of um, Saudi Arabia is, is making these national ID cards, electronic ID cards, 54, 34 million US dollars contract. That's a year ago, year and a half ago. I haven't even seen you. Haven't heard peep again about it. So these overpriced planes is just an, a, a continuation of the, of, of, of the corrupt freeze that they've been doing. I mean, you 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 can just, I, you, you, we can go on and on about the things that you never heard about that they just simply announced, and they're doing. No tenders, no nothing, no program. They never said they're going to do it before. They just announced it. Take their money out, uh, hard earn our money out so that they can't use, they said that they don't have out of the budget and buy these things. But they, then, when the teachers and the public servants, um, the nurses and those persons ask for more salaries, they say they're broke. That is why they're broke. They're wasting our money. Yeah, but David, I, I don't think it's waste. They're wasting the money. You know, I think it's thief, the thief in the money. That's highway robbery. David, look at this plane. Yeah, I, yeah. I've seen I've seen some little boy from some, some boys from some African countries making some model plane far better than that thing. We just had the other day one of our aircraft going down, a helicopter going down with five of our generals, yes. five of them dead. And yeah. what they went in was far better looking than this. Where this going to hook up where? Well, right, that's exactly what it is. I mean, we did the helicopter went down from world renowned place Bell and that failed. Imagine what will happen when they they they, they, they said this training. Oh, oh my how, god! How mean? I I don't know if any of our pilots ever flew anything like that. You know, what I mean, it's like if you're flying backwards. You know, what I mean, it's I don't know what training they would give. Um, maintenance. That's always been our problem. I mean, who's going to maintain it? You know, what I mean, they, we know nothing at all about these planes other than they announced and they made it and they brought them. David, I thought that we would have had something like this. Um, we're going to show it just now. I thought they were going to bring some things like these. This well, is of what course. You know? Of in, course. I mean, I mean, we just passed a $1.146 trillion budget. And what they had before. Well, I, I mean... So everybody was expecting when you talk about the threat, the existential threat of Venezuela the back uh, on our borders... Um, they have F-50s and those things like that. You would have thought, thought that we were getting something modern, something to show that, um, you know what I mean, that we are we, we are progressing and we can defend ourselves and those things like that. Um, don't know what is the, the use of these planes here they, they, that, that they bought, but um, you know what I mean. But, Coretta, they have the National Security Advisor, um, 
Captain Jerry Govaya. He's a, he's been in aviation for so long. So I wonder what he has to say about this. You know, I mean, he hasn't said a word. Well, because David, David, I wouldn't wait on him to say anything, and he he is gone missing in action. Because don't forget the, the the guy that they were looking for, that Interpol was looking for the other day. You know where they found him, right? And, and so I don't want to hear anything about the National Security and Advisor. No wonder so many things are happening here. And we 93 don't know Duke Street. Huh? Your folks, viewers, new, um, Google it. 93 Duke Street, Kingston. See, see who's there. See what it is. See who the owners, who's the proprietors. We're not making this up. This is not a alleged. This is this but game. We, of, we, saw, we saw the picture of the first lady and, and, and the man's wife. Of course. So we? It's, I mean, uh, yeah, that's we, it. So we these saw, are the things. These so, are exactly I mean, what we're talking we, about. We are making up these stories and we could never make up these stories. But 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 the the, the, the idosity in these people to think that Guyanese people are stupid. You know? They really think that we're stupid in this 21st century. Where are you going with that plane? I mean, Maduro, them, they're probably laughing at us all the time. They've, they've been laughing at us all the while. You know I mean, we we, we went and, 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 and uh, did an agreement in, in, in the Argyle Declaration. You know I mean? We've been we go and we give this man uh, Maduro gifts and those things like that. And just last week, two weeks ago, declared a, a Esquivel yeah. state. All the promises, you know what I mean? Because the little boy, he, he recognizes it out that he's dealing with some, some, some um, little um, boys who only interested in filling their pockets and who, who yes. have no clue about the international. Problem. They got rid of, and, and you will know this correctly. They got rid of all the seasoned diplomats yep. on the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brought in somebody, girlfriend, somebody, mm -hmm. there's somebody that mm -hmm. some some young people that that just come out of university and sending them against people, seasoned diplomats who who have been uh, at this for years. You know what I mean? I, Todd is out to sea. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. But I mean, he's our foreign affairs minister. He hasn't a clue. You know what I mean? This is the man. Todd is the man that, that soon he came in, signed an, an op to open office for Taiwan in Guyana. And then, of course, when China objected, he withdrew it. But you know, I mean, that, that that's the type of person we have there as, as, as the Minister of Foreign Affairs. In every agency, we have some square pegs and wrong holes, and that definitely will work against us um, in Guyana going forward. Yeah, so we folks, we 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 have a tough run here to go um to get through uh with you know, I mean with this, this government. In every area, there's a misstep every single area you know me david we it's from one thing to the next to the next interpol come they find him they find the man we had the, the boat the other day that was bringing crude and the boat the boat sank somewhere on the coast of of trinidad or tobago some somewhere there then you hear cocaine started floating up we could never find who were the people who owned this boat but you know it registered in guyana up to now, you can't hear anything about it. And nobody could say to us where the crude oil was going. But we suspect that the crude oil was coming for GPL. So well, let me confirm something. Let me confirm something for you here, Coretta. The crude oil was heading for GPL, right? The crude oil was heading for GPL. That company had a contract with GPL. GPL has made a statement saying that the crude oil is not theirs until they collect it. <laughs> They have never <laughs> ever denied that the crude oil was heading for them. It was heading for them. You could quote me there, Miss. Confirmed it was heading for them. Um, the 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 company that was shipping it, I can't remember the name. Something media that, that and 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 here's a, here's here's the uh, crux of the matter that that company is reg registered as a medical supplier, oh, wow. right? So they they came here and they registered and they and they used to bring in aspirins ibuprofen and and those sort of uh, uh drugs a middle a little middle and then they, they then they started then they branched out into what you call medical uh transcription you mm. know what i mean um taking uh, your records and putting it into the electronic formers then the government changed then they said oh hold on a second money got to make it and anybody because you know toby got butchers doing roads and 
we will yes. uh, you know what I mean? because we got anybody doing anything in this we got, cricketers we, getting big, we got cricketers getting big contracts to do roads and that kind of thing the road there is one of those cricketers, road, the peace and home stretch avenue one of those cricketers was is a director in that same company Ooh. yeah one of those cricketers in the director the same company of course I, I can say this because I myself went to registry and I got all the names of the, the directors, their registered right. address. I got their the, the company, the the the, the 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 agreement that they have setting up to buy the fuel. I, I I got all of that. So when I challenged GPL, they said their position is the fuel, irrespective of what whatever destination that that they that 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 um it is. When it arrives here, this I'm gonna give you GPS official because they rang me and told me officially that when the fuel comes in, you're having a contract with these suppliers. I have one with Stat Soli and the camera and this medical company here. When it arrives, they test the fuel and they make sure it was the right grade and it's the right uh, viscosity and those things like that. And only after that process of testing it do they accept it. So they so they made a statement saying that oh, they have never tested it, it never arrived to them, so it's not theirs. And they and, and then they said to me that if you buy something from Amazon and it never reach, you tell Amazon until oh, you haven't received it. You complain to Amazon, and Amazon have to replace it. That is their thing. But the fuel was going to GPL and and um and, and it's one of those backroom deals, you know. I mean they must they pick up this fuel from everywhere, from all over the place a badge that was leaking and disappeared and those things like that. So they, so we are complicit at, 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 at responsible, but, but fortunately for us, the people in Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago, are not going to let it rest because they have to spend millions to, um, I know to clean up millions and millions of U S dollars to clean up. So you, we will see, I, I do suspect in a very short time, some, um, legal matters being raised against the company. They may try as well as bringing it into GPL because they will say to that you you hired a substance a, 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 sub, a, a, a body that, that, that is not of, of substance you 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 engage in a company that has no um, background in supplying fuel you engage so therefore obviously you have some sort you you are somehow negligible in that because if you uh, are building a house and you hire a carpenter or a butcher and when while building your house he sets your house of fire and your neighbor's house of fire because of that you you are liable so i do think until that that they are working on some sort of case um to bring to get back the money they would have spent um for the cleanup well you know david as we go quickly through these highlights because i really want our audience to be upbeat with what's happening we by the time we were finished with um that uh interpol the guy from interpol and then the, this one and the, that one up came this police officer the allegations about this police officer mitchell caesar who is supposed to be the head of um crime special crimes unit crimes yeah. unit wherever 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 that uh their allegations that he has been questioned by the u.s government and and the, the vice president at his um press conference all he could say is that yes um there were reports this this very young man here he's saying yes there were reports but um those reports were forwarded to the to the head of the guyana police force i mean barajaglio who likes to talk you know the man who knows every single thing he couldn't comment on this issue um last week i think it was at his press conference what he knows is that the information was forwarded to the commission of police acting and to yeah. date to date we can't get a sentence coming from the guyana police force to say whether the allegations were true or whether the allegations were false well I'm well well let me tell you this uh correct i mean I mean and, and, and your viewers would know this how the, the the net is tightening they they, they um question a former the former minister um, permanent secretary of home affairs this is all connected you know what i mean because they they feel that because they're in power and they've been they could do anything here in guyana that they're untouchable so they question the home affairs permanent secretary they never ever told you what the questioner about what information she gave them but obviously 
their questioning has confirmed and collaborated some of these things. So therefore, obviously, um, Mr. Caesar uh, was is, is part of it. You know, what I mean, uh, they, their eyes watching us. I mean, they 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 since the PP came back, the amount of drugs and the drug buses yes. and the drug transshipment of drugs out of Guyana has tripled and quadrupled. We had yeah. started out almost completely, and I mean, the, the, the drug pushers used to complain every day how the place get hard on the APN UAFC government. It's not, they're now back in full bloom and they, they're enabled. And these are the persons that allegedly would be enabling simply. So you'll soon see, and I you can call me that several of them will stop traveling. They will stop traveling in fear that they will be arrested because they have done certain things um, illegal. Several well, David, of them will. will David, you, know, you know that some of them are not traveling already. You know that. Yeah, some I know. Of them you know, not know traveling I mean, already. Yeah, our good friend Daram Lal can't travel. Remember, he, his visa was revoked. Yeah. Got into government, and then of course he got a diplomatic passport or so forth and thing. So he's not traveling. Some and they're not traveling. Some of them, you see, you know, I mean, I, I know the attorney general, um, the, Rick Burke has a case against the attorney general. So some of them, every time they travel, they are they're a bit tentative as if they will get back or they'll have to stay. Um, this is a government that had, listen to me, that had their visas, sir, ministers, sitting ministers had their visas revoked. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, so they did. This is not ordinary person. Nobody I mean, ever you know, explained. Nobody ever. Nobody ever told us why Roy visas get revoked. <laughs> and, he minister, told, and he was the minister of home affairs as well. They didn't. They didn't tell us about um why Kwame why Kwame's visa was revoked either. They didn't tell us that. Yeah, well, well, huh? we, 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 well, we, we suspect. <laughs> we we, we like to suspect uh, for doing things untold to other human beings. But I mean, these are the people who always want to come to lecture to us what is this and what must not be this and how this should be done. But David, we're going to talk right away about the Guyana Power and Light Inc. Or if it's the Guyana Powerless and Light Out Inc. We, we need to talk about that. Powerless, David, powerless. The powerless, the powerless. We have been under the coalition. Well, we know yesterday they had some big high-level meeting where the president, you know, he always come in as if he's some savior. He had this meeting and he reading the riot act. This is about the seventh or the eighth riot act I hear you reading and I see nothing happening, nothing. Because just yesterday you had this big, big meeting and today almost all over get blocked out during the day, even tonight. So I don't know this um, this right act that you read. Apparently, the right act just turned back on your friend Ali because he right acting got no power. Now, well, air friend Ali, not air friend Ali, Indar. We have got to rename Indar, the man of darkness. You remember they talk about shadows? We got to name him the man of darkness, shadows. We got to call we got to call him shadows but and, but but, but correct uh, hold on David, sensing from this the picture that we are seeing there when you look at the the expression on the face of the prime minister it seems as if he's at a loss and he's ex bad because they're telling his chair stupidness well 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 there you go let, let me i was about to stop you and say to we uh, why will we before we even get to in there we got to get the pm gpl ladies and gentlemen gpl comes on the the prime minister right and, and and the energy sector you know I mean um and and um so indar is only there that they don't even well i don't know if they've recognized that the pm is not capable or they think he's not capable or anything like that but indar is just there um jumping in and and, and thinking and they, and they just have the poor uh pm like um you know what i mean like sad sack sitting down among them he looks <laughs> clueless you know what i mean and you're saying to yourself um and they just pull it. He's like Rip Van Winkle, you know what I mean? He just there says nothing. When they need to attack the opposition on an issue of Afro-Americans and those things like that, on a black issue, they roll him out and say, PM, read this statement. They read it, and he rolls him back in, and then they, they call him here just for optics. But, um, but he looks... David, David, before you go there, let's look at the seating arrangement. Let's look at the seating arrangement. Air front in a soft chair, 
in Darina soft share the people behind the look the people who's who facing who's um looking at the prime minister the president and the and the minister they're sitting in soft share look at the chair that the prime minister sitting in girl look. i won't read much into that i think he must have piles or something <laughs> <laughs> Mama got him right. He right in the flare up. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, there, man. Oh my that, you know what I mean? That he can't sit on anything soft. He has to sit on things hard, hard things. I would like to give him the benefit of the doubt. He uh, likes to sit uh, on his army, man. That's the best. Like PM, yeah, I, I stand up for you on this one here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, and, and then you notice, and we must let our viewers know that the man who is heading the GPL. It is alleged that he's the brother of no 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 let me I mean, confirm don't don't there's no alleged here okay. you know what I mean? so you I, i'm saying this is no alleged it's anil nandalal's brother right Kesh, so, nandalal. so you, you understand no viewers that we don't make these things up we don't make it up when we talk about the friends the family the friends and the favorites we don't make it up this is for real and nobody has said to us yet what is this man's qualification? Nobody has said to us. No wonder we having so many blackouts. But but you you, you jump to qualifications. How we got the job? You know what I mean? There was no ad. There's no. You mean no nobody got advertised. He just just arrived and he just appointed. Um and and it was done so clandestinely. There was not even you know normally when you 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 appoint a CEO, you will be a GPL welcomes and a big full page ad and those things like that. You know to instill confidence in people. Nothing not at all. A, Quietly not just nothing. comes and gets there. Not a nothing. Not a but nothing. These are, so, these yes, are the people Anel's, who join. Anel's Anel's brother. So, so these don't... are the people who join the big fat cat salaries. But right. David, I remember them saying when they just got into office, oh, look, they have all the bills. They got all the invites. They got all the this. That the coalition bought secondhand generators. But Never. We, had to, we had to remind them all right, we take never. it there. One, you bought second-hand generators, but those seconds never used to give us the blackouts that we have in now. They went and they said they bought brand new ones. Tell us about that, David. First and foremost, for your viewers and everybody here, so we never bought a single second-hand generator. We bought brand new generators for Anna Regina. If you got any viewers listening in in in, in Escobar region, they will note how we put some new sets there. When we came in, Escobar was on the blockout for days. Bartica, I know the people in Bartica, brand new sets, 3.4. We went to their stronghold, Cane Field. Never ever, all, all the years, the last generating Cane Field in Barbies to put in Barbies was Desmond Hyde put it there. The coalition came in and put the a, a new generator in Cane Field to ease the problems in Barbies. And they still go around saying that we don't like them. And then we bought brand new sets. And that is what kept us from kept the, 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 the power on from 2020 20, to now. Brand new sets for the six and put them in the garden needs. And we bought them. The, the coalition bought them and installed them and put them up there. Brand new sets of garden needs. Never bought a single second hand. Never um, a, a set to you. So, so when they they they, 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 they like to tell, tell this lie and hope that, oh, that you know I me, mean, they can get away with it and hope you tell the lie often enough people will believe but ladies and gentlemen i could confirm to you that we've never ever ever purchased a second-hand generator brand new sets under warranty work we're working 100 percent efficiently up to august 2020 i can up to june end the 31st of july 2020 i can't vouch for what they are now but i can tell you what they've told me is that they are because they are incompetent, just like they did before. They did. They have not been doing any maintenance. Generators work on running hours, almost like an airplane, and they run twenty-four hours for three months, six amount of hours. Then you have to bring, uh, take them offline and change oil and bearings and those things like that. If not, just like a, just like a car, you have it. They set out either. 3,000 miles or 1,000 miles in three months. They have been delaying the maintenance of these generators. And the longer you delay, the worse the, the, uh, the, the maintenance issues that they have. That's what we're having now. 
So all the generators crankshaft. You I mean for you to break a generator, they set out a crankshaft. Do you break a, a generator crankshaft? You really have to overwork it, overstress it. I mean these things are are, are at least you know I mean um, twelve inches in diameter uh, a, a crankshaft on these generators. Big massive chunks of metal. For you to break that, you really have to be putting those generators under stress. You know what I mean? And don't forget the fuel. So here's what I suspect happened. The fuel that threw away, that spilled in Tobago, was en route, 35,000 barrels, was en route to um, GPL. Maybe that's the monthly supply. Never arrived. So I suspect what they would have done, because they're short of a supply, they would have gone and outsource and go and buy some dirty fuel from some some backtrack place or those things like that. Those things as well contribute to breaking up the engines. I mean, it, everybody has a car, no doubt. If you put in bad fuel in your car mm-hmm. or bad oil, weak oil in your car, it matches up the engine. All of these things have a knock-on domino effect when it comes to power generation. So all the wheeling and dealing and corrupt acts and poor management are now coming to a head. Uh, and of course, you know, I mean, when when you were caught with your hands in a cookie jar, you said, not me, not me, it's not me. It's um, somebody tell me to do that. That's what they're trying to do, though. Not us. It's not us. It's APNU. Four years you're there. Never did anything. Now is APNU. Yeah. Yes, because I saw uh, President Ochi's President Ali. I saw him um, talking about this whole thing. I think it was yesterday. And he was blaming the coalition. The coalition was being blamed. Now you in office for four years, and you were blaming the coalition for mismanagement. And they weren't they weren't servicing the, the engines, and they weren't doing this. But I would have thought that since you got in there, you would do a whole new overhauling of of the engines that you you got there. You would do a whole new inventory. You would inspect what you have, of course, with your ex experienced people you would do a whole new um inventory to make sure that what you have there is what you're supposed to have there now since you did not do that in 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 the teaching system we say if you're appointed at a school for six and you're there for at least six months anything that go wrong there you're responsible so i don't understand how you're blaming the coalition still people tired of you now so so what really happened, what really happened to them is, is, is that it, they were lulled into a false sense of security. The system was running so smoothly when they took it over. No issues. We had reduced blockouts and those things like that. Um, they didn't bother do anything. I mean, that, that didn't, they didn't bother check to see if they ordered the spares on time. They didn't check to see when the maintenance there. They didn't check. I mean, all they did was go around opening hotels opening schools um telling uh, opening all sort of things and saying oh god everybody in the world love us they want to come here not knowing even a primary school students would have said to them listen to me if you op- if all these places are open they're gonna need power right so every every time you open a fancy mall it has to get power from gpl and if exactly. you don't increase the, if you don't increase the capacity it will put strain on the existing system so they like the nice flashes and they like the nice buzzwords and the social media posts. You know, your friend Priya will post up something there. But the hard work to make the systems work that is done behind the scenes, they don't like that. They, 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 it, it's where you settle people, they settle, they're scared of that. So they met a functioning system. Everything was working um, accordingly. You know, I mean, of course, it never wasn't perfect, but so they said, okay, yeah, let's just leave it as it is. Let's just go. When they realize their mistake, they have to try and blame the, 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 the previous administration. But four years, August is now three months will be four years since since they're in. You mean now, as you said, now you realize it all that um, now you're reading the riot act. Four years. After four years. You when know, last everybody- year. Go ahead. Last year they blamed climate change. They said the place is too hot, too many people putting on air conditioning and yes. those things like that. So they blame that. Therefore, but you 
if you had that problem last year, you should know it how you it, it's going to snowball. That's how these things work. So he didn't really let right attack last year when they were giving us rolling blockouts all over the time. They said, no, they went to Honduras. Of all the places in the world, they went to Honduras and they find 17 generating sets. And they brought them, they shipped them down. And of course, the big posts, these sets come. They'll be installed by the end of November. That came and went. They'll be installed um, mid-December. That came and went. They said it'll be ready for Christmas. That came and well, it'll be ready for New Year's. Um, it, and then they said it'll be ready for the end of March, and that's just come and gone. And there you go, and it still is. But let's talk about those sets there, correct? I, I, this is one of the things that I like. I asked GPL, where did you how where did you find these sets? How did you find know that these sets are? These sets about <clears throat> I don't know, about eight years ago or ten years ago. I think it was Hurricane Ivan, I think it was, or 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 so. It went through um, the whole of the, that, that section of their uh, decimated Puerto Rico. You remember decimated um, Hon, um, Dominica? You remember that, that, that yeah. Dominica was almost run, <clears throat> run to the ground? Um, and Honduras. And what the Honduras did, what they what they did at the time is these container sets are, are, are their backup sets. You know what I mean? Like if you go... So, say for example, that I mean the Litchfield is out of power. You transport these sets into Litchfield and hook up everybody in Litchfield while you're rebuilding your grid. So, therefore, they're like the backup generators that we have in our homes. They're not meant to run a country's national grid. So, they've been sitting in a yard where waiting on the next hurricane to come by if, if it ever does. And there's no um, it doesn't hurricane so hit you annually and those things like that. Rotting away since then. And somebody rings GPL bosses and rings the political people and say, hey, I got a solution to solve the kind of problem. I have 17 generators, containers sitting down here of generators there. They send no technical person to, to, to um, inspect it. They send nobody. The guy spray paints the uh, outside of the containers nice bright yellow and nice blue you know what i mean i put i probably even put a one guy on a stick on it so when they go it's ah yes <laughs> that's ours you know we gotta put a one guy on a, and the 28 million us dollars we paid ship them down you know what i mean so oh, these are perfectly this is this is the word again these are perfectly working generators i don't know if there were maybe it was a salt here between honduras and Guyana, or you mean, are they just don't like us Guyanese because the sets have come to Guyana and they're not working? So, I mean, but we we know it out that they bought uh, the pig in a bag. So, they brought these 17 pigs in a bag, put them up, and they can't function up to now. They brought in technicians, they brought a fellow from Cuba in who um, uh -huh. looked at it, tried to fix it, said, nah. In Cuba, we, we we create miracles. In Cuba, they have some old cars from the 60s that they keep running now. The man said, this is above my pay grade, above my technical skills. I can't help you with these here. So that's what it is. $28 million. So therefore, now, five months, these 17 sets are in the country. For they, they, They're claiming, they're claiming that, that uh, eight are running. But folks, here's what. Four are running. Eight start up. But not four. So I mean, they start up eight of the seventeen, but they're not running in it. Four of them, and the power, and, and they're not. We're not getting the correct power out of them. Usual thing, usual thing, um, secondhand thing. They, it's almost like the like the water cannon or row you bought. Exact yeah. same thing. Exact yeah. same thing. So so David, you were saying to us, you were saying to all, all of us here, twenty eight million dollars was spent. Are we talking about 28 million GT dollars or 20 US million dollars? US dollars. 28, so million 28 million US dollars US was spent dollars. to buy 17. Containerized. They, 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 uh, these generators are in a container, right? In a 40 foot container. So 17 containerized generators were bought for 28 million US dollars. Correct. Now, David, 
I am thinking here that if we had used that $28 million, paid teachers with half, and we use the, the capable people we had there that they sent home. You remember exactly. how many were fired from GPL? And those exactly. were the qualified people. If you exactly. had those persons there, they would have known what to do, how to service, when to service. They would have been able to test the fuel to say, and eh, eh, this one, this can't work. Or they would have been saying to you, we can't buy cheap fuel. This is what we have to buy. Now, we could have saved in half of that money. Huh? Exactly. That is exactly what we've been saying all the while, Kreta, all the time. All the time. They're just simple, petty thieves and crooks who um, have a lot of money available. And they just simply like pigs. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when they see a pig eating, just gorging and, and splurging at the, at, at, at the trough, just eating, eating. Even when their belly is, their stomachs are filled, they continue eating. You know what I mean? That is the type of persons they are. You know what I mean? It's they, they, called greediness. You, these, some of these, all of these problems is all rooted into corruption and incompetence. But, but you, you know, David, these were the first people, the PPP, Jagdio and his cabal, when they were in opposition at every little thing they're making noise for, just a simple 20 minutes power outage they used to make noise for. And now you have having power outage from nuanced, from Barbies to Esequibo. Yeah, well, listen to me. Not only them. We Let's call a spade a spade. You haven't heard a word from the private sector commission. None from them. From the Georgetown Chambers and those things. None like that. When I was them. minister, one, you... you, you any block out there write you and say oh you you you're causing them millions of dollars in lost revenue and lost productivity and those things like that get it right fix it not a single word from the private sector commission josh Young chambers and all these big businesses that used to be complaining most vociferously when we were there you know what i mean it, 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 it's like if you know what i mean Chalk and cheese, chalk and cheese. So not only the PPP used to be complaining, and any little thing, you know what I mean? I can remember if it flood, there'll be big letters in the papers how it's flooding and those things, and the Ghanaka wash away now, and these the same people that um used to you protest see. and object and those things like that um remain I, silent. I am wondering too, where are the guardian, the members of the guardians of democracy? Isn't oh. this being a dem isn't this being democratic for you to make noise about? And you know what is hurtful, David, to the ordinary Guyanese who can barely survive, but they're making ends meet and they're gonna go and they put save their money or they go to courts and they're gonna take a fridge and higher porches. Mm. One, two, in, out, in, out, block out every minute on off, damage your, your equipment. And then when you go to GPL, it's a big, long, long, long process. They're asking you, you got to bring um, receipt. You got to, they want to send people technician. They want to know who's the technician that wire your house. They want to come to yep. test to see if you're getting the correct amount of current comment. All kinds of stupidness they're coming to you with. I mean, you know, somebody will do worse than what Joey Jagan did. Yes, because lie down in front of GPL you. and behave bad and those things like that, you know. My, yeah, they have no my microwave went bad. The blender went bad. Because it's like you have to be plugging out every single thing you got to plug out. Right. Because you when you charge, when you got lights, it, you either have blackout or you have low voltage. You know or the voltage fluctuating. You watch and the those television like and all you're seeing is all kind of crazy. This and blank, the screen blank. Then blank, the screen. Before you could twist this, you know, and these people have no sympathy for anybody. But, you know, I want to make a call that we should ask for a COI into all of this nonsense. We should ask that the entire board of directors be fired because they well, serve no purpose. Well, the, the, the board of directors is no technical person on the board of directors. You know what I mean? It's a friend's family and those things like that. You know what I mean? So uh, uh, um, the board of directors, I mean, come on, they haven't even made a statement as a, as a board. I can remember when I was a, was minister, 
I said to the board every time they told they face that I will not face the public alone. That you are responsible just as me. I you can remember Raw Lucas and, and Robert Badalo, they were the chairman. They would have a press conference and, and speak to the um speak to the people. Don't just um blame the workers. A bad <laughs> a bad worker blames his tools. I mean the, the board of GPL is responsible. Well, they're supposed to come as well. They're supposed to come and face the nation. And every time we had an issue, and it was, and I would say to the board, you have been you've been given the task we never interfere with you you get up and say to the people again how you will fix it and say to us the government what support you need to fix it not them nobody don't even know the chairman of gpl david you know i notice our time is running away from us we just have like about eight minutes more david what exactly these people have to do because they just don't know what to do the same the same troubles we having with gpl the same troubles we having with gwi but i know they take the man and there's any way to make him ambassador so i know how, how we gonna come back here i don't know if you're giving him advice but these people are just a bunch of crooks what well, do well, we, we know that everyone, everyone knows that L listen to me so when we took over, the system was worse than it is now, right? And we sat and we started systematically addressing the flaws that they, that have resurfaced. If you can remember, Coretta, um, when we took over, they had a submarine cable between um, Kingston and Vreden Hoop, and every two times a little trawler pass, it would dig it up and, and, yeah. and put the mm -hmm. place in. But we said, no problem. We took it and we built an alternative one of a redundant. We did put in redundancy, so therefore that doesn't happen. If that the if the the first one trips, there's a second one to bring over the power from Freedom Hoop to the main line. I mean, these are things you do. We um, started moving a lot of our load from just Kingston, that one line down Kingston to Sapphire. We built alternative routes. We we we, we maintenance. We had a, from a company called PPDI who took over from Warsaw and, and they were saving the, and it, Warsaw came to this country um, in, in, with, with 1990s and they set up, they, they built lovely generators, eh? but they never did any operation or maintenance contract before, but they came, usual thing, made a deal with the PPP and they were doing o &M. When we took over in December 2016, the entire up um war Silla maintenance program were run by Guyanese. 140 Guyanese, all fully trained in those in there. And the, and then when we looked at the books, they were charging GPL. This is why I I, I think that there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of corruption and there's no backing. They were charging GPL three times the value, two and three times the value for spares than when we looked at the invoices. And so we we said, listen to me. 100% Guyanese company doing 100%, 100% of all the servicing. Let us incorporate them and let them continue. Give them the funding. And they took over and they did an excellent job. 99. Point, I think 8% efficiency of the equipment and those things over the four years that they were there. Saved GPL 2.4 million US dollars. Of course, to keep the guys, to keep the guys there, um, even though they're making savings, when the PP came over, came in, they said so these guys were on super salaries. You mean you having guys that are internationally trained, 20, 30 years of experience, who wanted all around the world, came back from from um, the America, from uh, who left war seller companies in Finland and Aruba in Antigua and came back to work, doing an excellent job. When they came in, the first thing the, the PPP said, they're super salary. There are eight technicians there. For 40 of them have left, have or been fired. I know where they ended up back now. And all of them left the country because they said they did this in a real place to live. If they if, if people they're doing such a good job and all they're looking at is the, um, the super salaries and they put some on the heads on top of them, all of them have left the country. So you have a, nobody with any expertise whatsoever doing the maintenance. So we have to get that back on stream um, to, to, to bring it back here. You know what I mean? We have to sit down and um, the, the transmission and distribution lines. I mean, a truck, there's a bushfire in, in, in the back of East Bank in Grove that cuts 
all the power in Guyana goes down. Whereas, where does that happen? Where else in the know. world you think that could happen, you know? The time that they set out a, a truck reverse onto a, 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 a land and post on um, embankment in the whole country. In you mean, country. imagine, imagine, I want your, your, your viewers to understand how, how fragile and how badly they're, if Maduro wants to come in and uh, God forbid take over again, now you got to just run knock down two lantern posts. Two lantern posts, yes. And we in the whole country in blackout, right? And and these are the things that we we, we worked and sure that we had better bought new sets. The PVP has not bought a new generating set since they returned. We bought eight in four years, eight brand new sets, six to three megawatts. Without when we came money. in. Without, Without oil money. money, when we came in, the the the, the GPL maximum production um, capacity was 120 megawatts. In um, August of 2022, GPL producing 180 megawatts. Guess what? The GPL's production now exact same 180, less the engines that they break up. They haven't introduced a, a, a megawatt into it. They've been trying now with these 17 countries in the but for four years, they did nothing, absolutely nothing. So we have well, to start again uh, to, to, to try and, and get it better. It's, it's just disgusting. But David, I notice our time has run away from us. But I want to thank you for being here with us because once we have you, we know that we have the truth coming because as the minister, former minister, you had a hands-on approach on what was happening there. Unlike the dresser boy that we got the Yeah, um, they're there. I, I, as I mean, in parliament, they're just fluff and bluff. Fluff they, and bluff. The dress-up dress minister and the yeah. sailing prime minister who won't understand. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you got a president who's sailing all the time and he reading uh, right act. And dancing and the on stage. the right act on him. I mean, it's crazy. But we are going to have to, as a people, we will have to demand from the PPP. Better. A COI. Because we want to know what is happening. Where are these monies going? And who's the middleman in between this? But before we go off the program, we need to um, we need to let our viewers have a have a little um, a little pleasant. We want them to have a pleasant night. So we're going to show them a photograph that we have here. David, we want to thank you so much. Uh, Lisa thank Chad, you. It might be thank my you pleasure. Be my absolute pleasure. Thank you for being here with us. Um, it's always a privilege to have you and Jason. But let's leave with, on 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 this note. Let's let's leave with with this. Um, this picture there. David, I'm sure you're going to have a good night with this one too. Um, let's leave <laughs> watching this here. Um, next week, we'll see you again, viewers, for more on advancing the cause. You, you so have here. to, we, we'd have to call and, G, um, the, 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 the <laughs> Animal Protection Agency, you know what I mean? I'm sure, I'm sure there's something against this. I'm sure, uh, you know but, I mean. but we'll just have to close by saying to the young lady there that if you're going to wear a dress or a, a skirt, then both of your legs have to be on the same side. Maybe she did not know that one. So we just leave that with her and, and have, it, have her remember that if you're going to be mounting a horse, then you need to wear jeans. Or if you're going to wear a skirt, then you have to have both legs. Cross saddle, you, on, you wear on, cross saddle. And, yes. and we also have to uh, you also have to say a big shout out to the horse. I mean, <laughs> he took it like a man. <laughs> big shout out. Good night, folks, and may God continue to bless you. We'll see you again next week for more on advancing the cause. But in the meantime, let's just make noise. Um, we cannot continue to live with all of this whole day. Every other day, every day, here, there, the entire country in blackout. We cannot continue to live like that as one of the, as the 10th richest country in the world. We cannot continue to live like that. Yep, uh, I so agree. Take care, be good, and remember, the only change for this country is the return of the coalition government. Do have a good shortly. night. Shortly. We will be there shortly. That change will soon come. Thanks, David. Good night. Thank you.